We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come Kenny's on, right. you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, then don't. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own, I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Well, you are doing a shitty job. I never said I wanted to do it. I just said you were doing That's a shitty job. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Oh, well, no, fuck I'm yeah, serious. I got this. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. You know what, bitch? I'm gonna do your job. I'm gonna do it ten times better than you would have ever done it. So, have fun with that. Ten hungry people. Four pieces, four pieces of food for ten hungry people. Well, okay. Let's eliminate the hurt, dude. Let's eliminate the new guy. Not of the motherfuckers are getting food. My girl Clementine's getting food. Hot stuff is getting food. Kenan's getting food. That racist asshole not getting anything. That bitch that was, that was yelling at me, she's not getting shit. But like I said, first thing for first thing first, I gotta give Clementine some food. She gets first picked. What do you want, Clem? Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um, snap, what is Clementine like? Let's give her an apple. I love apples. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. That she does. Um, hot stuff. You, you want, actually, let me talk to Clementine first. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay. What do you need it for? You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. All right. Gotta make sure my girl's doing good. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. 
Drugstore? Yeah. Lily mm. has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Let's go talk to my man, Kenny. He has a muffler in his hands. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I I'm agree with Kenny. My family. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Ah oh, no. man. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. You want me to take care of him? I hate your son, Kenny. I like you. I don't I don't hate your son, man. I'm just gonna give him some crappy food hey, and call Doc. it a day. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry. There you go, kid. Enjoy. Oh, if you weren't Kenny's son, you would not be getting food. I hate him so much. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I can yes. something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Kenny got his jerky like a man. And now we got one piece of food left. Oh, snap. Save the last piece for yourself. Save the last piece for someone else, or keep the last piece for yourself. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, let's give it to somebody else. If we were, like, dying from, like, health in this game, I would probably give it to someone else. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Um... Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Anything for Clementine? I gotta say no to her. See if Kenny's wife wants some food. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna oh. be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? I'd better not. It's okay, I'll handle it. Just give me some space, okay? Yeah. I need space, Lee. Like I said, I'd, I'd better not do that. And help her with anything, like... That did not seem like the right move. Well, this guy is too clumsy board, for that. Steady. I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. You son of a bitch. Here you go. I'll give him some food. Here. Eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. 
Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on. No, no, I didn't. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, Whoop I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Okay. Whatever. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some thanks, people Kenny. aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working fight, on that fight, wall. Fight, fight, fight. Get out of here, old man. Get your old ass out of here. I don't care if we hit him anyway. I hate him. Come here, please. That guy just gets under my skin. He didn't make what it, need? Did he? he lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> Holy crap! What the? I thought he said he wasn't big. Move, move. Come on, Mark. Are you serious? How did you miss? Get him off me. Get him off me. Come on. Uh, huh. Shoot it. Awesome. Thank you, Carly. Carly to the rescue okay? once again. Yeah. Thanks. Now this is why I kept her around. Hot stuff knows Why'd what you're you doing. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came he did say he wasn't bitten. trying to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... That's horrible. Whoa, Who the lady, hell? relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Yep, 
You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Awesome, so, let's go. Uh, what do y'all think? Lee and Hot Stuff once again. I don't want to go. Let's do it. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a 